Ladies and gentlemen, he's my ideal and your new member of the Juno Hall of Fame, Leonard Cohen. so much for standing up for me. I owe so much to so many that if I began to catalog the debts I have incurred on the way, I would be in danger of exhausting us all with an endless filibuster of insolvency and gratitude. <laughs> I, I, I did resist the tone that was uh, entering the hall in which I was afraid of finding myself the guest of honor at a memorial service. <laughs> uh, I hope, even though the devil laughs when we make plans, I hope that I will be able to sing another song or two before, you, before the curtain comes down. Some well-meaning but mistaken individuals came to me and said, well, it's about time they gave you that award. But I want to say that the graciousness, the hospitality, and the timing of the Academy is impeccable. If uh, I had been given this attention when I was uh, 26, it would have turned my head. Uh, at 36, it might have confirmed my flight on a rather morbid spiritual path. At 46, it would have rubbed my nose in my failing powers and uh, prompted uh, a plotting of a getaway and an alibi. But at 56, hell, I'm just hitting my stride and it doesn't hurt at all. I want to salute those who have stood here before me, the residents of the Hall of Fame, Guy Lombardo, Oscar Peterson, Hank Snow, Wilf Carter, the Diamonds, the Crew Cuts, the Four Lads, Glenn Gould, Neil Young, the Band, Paul Anka, Gordon Lightfoot, Joni Mitchell, Maureen Forrester. Two women of genius among all that exuberant masculine prominence <laughs> causes me as you may reflect that it's going to be hard to get a date in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> City, it's only a place you visit. You don't want to live there. Any soldier knows that you don't go to bed with your medals on. But most urgent on my list of appreciation are those of you who have welcomed my tunes into your lives, into your kitchens when you're doing the dishes, into your bedrooms 
when you were courting and conceiving. Into those nights of uh, loss and bewilderment, into those aimless places of the heart, which only a song seems to be able to enter. It is before this sudden and strange and mysterious intimacy that is developed between us that I bow my head in real gratitude. My friends are gone and my hair is gray and I ache in the places where I used to play and I'm hungry for love but I'm not coming on. I'm just paying my rent every day in the Tower of Song. I said to Hank Williams, how lonely does it get? Hank Williams hasn't answered yet, but I hear him coughing all night long a hundred floors above me in the Tower of Song. I was born like this. I had no choice. I was born with the gift of a golden voice. And 27 angels from the great beyond, they tied me to this table right here in the Tower of Song. So you can stick your little pins in that voodoo doll. I'm very sorry, baby, it doesn't look like me at all. I'm standing by the window where the light is strong. They don't let a woman kill you in the Tower of Song. Now you can say that I've grown bitter, but of this you may be sure. The rich have got their channels in the bedrooms of the poor, and there's a mighty judgment coming, but I may be wrong. You see, you hear these funny voices in the Tower of Song. So, I bid you farewell. I don't know when I'll be back. They're moving us tomorrow to that tower down the track. But you'll be hearing from me, baby. Long after I'm gone, I'll be speaking to you sweetly from my window in the Tower of Song. Thank you, thank you, thank you.